All right, I'm going to put you there for now. You're kind of in a weird angle for a 360 camera, but I got the uh, cannon up there, but the batteries haven't been charged in a while, so they're not really up there. So I called up Golight, talked to one of their techs, told them how the two boards are different. So uh, I told him what I thought and what I wanted to do, and after I sent him pictures of both sides of the board, um, he kind of agrees, as well as the light. Now, with this one, this was the original wire. This is the power in. This is what we connect our 12 volts to. These two wires look like originally they should have went to this plug where these two wires are cut. Well, they were cut off there and soldered onto the back of the board, which is the same pin, which I don't understand why anybody would do that. Nor did he. He said, that couldn't have come from here like that. I said, well, I'm going to tell you. I bought this light 20 years ago, and it's never been in anybody's hands but mine. And I didn't do that. So he says, okay. So at that point, that's where we're at. So what I'm doing is, I'm going to put this back to its original state, uh, the way that I feel. And he also agreed with me. So that's what I'm going to do here. That's if I can get the damn camera to stay on. Oh, let me go get some heat shrink. I don't want to use butt connectors. I don't want to use butt connectors. <coughs> That's the negative side. So let's use black for that side. It's actually a little big. I have a littler one. I do. That may be too small. It is. Ah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. There. Come on, get over there. Now I'm going to bring this down enough because I don't want that to heat up on me. I'm going to run these opposite of one another, as you can see. It makes for a cleaner and tighter solder connection put some flux on it and hopefully this will work and I don't have to bring it over there to solder it <clears throat> I do have to order another solder station for over here though that's all there is to it now these little gas or butane solder irons I actually like them better than the electric um, when I had the store, sometimes I had to go out and solder a connector on something that just couldn't come in, like a connector on a mirror mount of an 18-wheeler. And it's raining or snowing, it's cold, it's windy, whatever the case may be, it is. The electric ones never got hot enough in the cold weather. And I didn't want to have to keep going and running extension cords in and out to get a solder iron going. So it was a lot easier to buy the butane because it gets hot enough, especially in the winter months, if you had to do anything outside. Now that one may be good just to keep over here because it seems to be working okay. I may have to order another tip, however, uh, which is not a big deal. Ow, oh, that's still hot. So apparently that's working. Come on. I don't want to cut through the wire. I haven't got that much there. Okay. Oh, red. Red, red, red. Do I have a heavier red one? I was hoping I did. Maybe not. This one here may be too small. It is. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I got a red one.
Now again, I didn't want to use butt connectors because I didn't want a big mess in there because I don't know how much room I actually have in there. So that's why I want to solder it. And I don't want to tape it because in certain conditions the tape doesn't last worth a crap. Now I gotta get this down far enough. Come on. There we go. And again, I'm gonna twist them together. So it makes for a nicey, nicey connection. And hopefully this is still hot enough. Put a little flux on that. Let's put a little solder on here now. Make sure we get it right through. Now this side is going to be a little tighter because that red is a little smaller. So I got to make sure that I don't have any extra little lumps sticking out. Lumps of solder that is. there on that ground I see a little lump right there I don't know if you guys notice it or not there okay should be done with that close that close that here it is and put this on there so nobody gets burnt now, we'll slide the back black one up first. The back one. We'll slide the back one up first. <laughs> and that feels okay. So that should slide up there fine. And that's up there just fine. Just rucking ducky. Now, I could have used that to do this, but I turned it off already. So we'll just do it real quick with this. There. With me so far guys okay so now according to everything this should just plug into here and we should be all set I just want to make sure that I have everything the right way so it locks in now if you remember right I took a picture yes why did you do that because there's two wires for the motor up down does it really make a difference well yes and no what do you mean well, what I mean is if I hook them up backwards on the remote left and right could be up and down so to make sure that they work with the arrows on the remote I want to make sure that they're right Makes sense, right? Now, if I can find my phone, I'll find the pictures. If I remember right, this one goes to the closest to the power side. Okay. Oh, that picture sucks. There we go. Come back, come back. Get out of there. Okay, so this one. Goes to the outermost. This one goes to the closest meaning on here so this one goes on here this one goes on here
and the soldering thing is all put back together. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, let me unplug these because I got to put the cover on. <laughs> See, this is the one that they worked on. See how they cut this for the wire to fit in there? What I'm thinking is, this probably went back for service. I don't know. At one time or another. Now that doesn't go in there. Did that just snap together like that? Hmm. Possible. Possibility. Okay, so again, power. Come on. Yes, you go this way. There you go. And this one goes to the outer. Let me make sure I'm right. The goes to the outer. I can see it, that is. And this one goes to the one closest to the power. Actually, they're marked. Okay. All right. So now, this other wire that's down here, apparently we don't need it. And the other one that's on the board, I gotta find the other end to that because I don't want it just flopping around in here. Oh, that was this one, that's the stop switch. Remember I was talking about the stop switch and I said, I bet you that's a stop switch. Do you guys remember me saying that? You don't? Well, that sucks. Are we still recording? Yeah, see, I'm using the cannon up here because now I can see the screen. You know what? When I'm sitting doing something still like this, I think this is just fine. Um, when the camera's still, it works fine. I just can't walk around with it because it can't keep up with the autofocus to keep everything in, in, project, in, in perspective uh, and clean. <clears throat> 360 laying sideways. And this one's still recording, it looks like. All right, so what I had done, sorry I didn't get it all done here. Hopefully you can see it on that one. Because this camera's on, however, I didn't hit the record button. Boy, I'm good, aren't I? <laughs> okay. So what I have here is I brought a new wire into the switch that they had cut. Basically, this wire went out from here. This is the power in. This is the power that feeds the bulb out here. Uh, somebody cut the wire off on I was talking to the wife, she was going in to make dinner and it was like 2.30. Oh, wait a minute, is that? 
I don't know now. I gotta check. Uh, yeah, it's four o'clock now, and I haven't heard from her. Uh, so, any time now, she's gonna be coming out here saying, "Dinner's done," you know. Now, here's one that may work. That fits in there. But there isn't two of them there. So that's not the originals, because if there were, there'd be two of them. Well, wait a minute, maybe there is. No, they're not. But let's see if it works. If it works, I can make these two work. Come on, get in there. Trying to get it to fall in the hole now is another problem. They're still in here. Okay. Okie dokie. It just had to be screwed in. I was wondering why that other screw wasn't fitting in there. And then when I was looking down there, I said, I, I don't see a hole. I didn't see a hole. Because there was screws in the hole. There. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm shuffling around because I got my sandals on. So I kind of shuffle. Okay, turn the light off. Put my head on the camera. Nice move, Buzz. This is done. I just got to bring the remote out here with me. Tie this up to power. And I'm going to have to reprogram the remote because it's a different head, a different control box. Now I did have a sheet on that because I programmed two of them before, but I don't know. But I can just download that from the internet. It's not a big deal. Okay. We're going to start shutting down, guys. <laughs> 